Hey, what's up, Rockstars? This is Alex Warren coming at you from the Midwest. Today I'm working on Wild One, track number... F I don't know what number it is off the new Green Day album, Dose. Um, this one... We got power chords. Using A power chord, tab talk would be 0, 2, 2. Starting from the 5th string. Move that chord up to the fifth string, fourth fret. Three, four, six, six. Move that up uh, another fret. You got a D power chord, and then you want to go to an F power chord. That'd be on your eighth fret on the fifth string, and then back to A. So two bars each. You want to go A. That would be the rhythm guitar part for the intro. And the lead guitar part. We're using a technique that we've done in a lot of Green Day songs, if you see my other videos. Uh, basically, you are playing a note on the second string with your first finger, and you're also playing a note on the third string with your third finger, and you're bending the note on the third string. Only the note on the third string. The one on the second string is not bent. So, two frets apart, but basically, I'm thinking, uh, the way I think about this is that this note up here, we call it the melody note, so we're bending up to that note each time, okay? So the melody basically starts on the fifth fret on the second string, and then that's the tenth fret, sixth fret, back up to the tenth fret, and then down to the sixth fret, and then down to the fifth fret, okay? So if you do that technique for each one of those melody notes, That's, uh, that's the intro. And the verse is the same chords as the intro, except you want to play them in a different rhythm. You just want to go. After that, we got the chorus. Check it out. The chorus is pretty straightforward. We got chords that we've used before. We need D chord, A chord, F sharp. That's still A. And then G, and then E. So the way we play that, we go back and forth between D and A, and we go, ha ha, D and A, get it? Two, three, four. And right there, between the A and the F sharp, I did a power chord. Not a power chord, I did a pull off. Okay? So I went one, two, three, pull off. F sharp, right there. So the pull off I'm doing is uh, sixth string, fourth fret, pull off to zero. So you want to go one, two, three, four, and F sharp. Two, three, four. A, two, three. And then after that, it goes back to the intro with the lead, um, kind of an instrumental part, uh, and then another verse, then uh, the chorus, and then another intro with that lead line, 
And uh, after that is the bridge and the solo. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna see if I can give you the whole solo in one shot, close up. Here it goes. Um, okay, so there's about half of it right there. What I'm doing is I'm on the third string, fourth fret, Bending that note and playing the note on the second string, fifth fret. Make sure your bends are accurate and then bend release, second fret. Do it again. And then kind of a variation. So bend release, two, four, two. And then right there, you play the fourth fret, and you want to bend only a half step, so it's, you want to sound like the pitch on the fifth fret. And then I'm going down to the fourth string second fret, bending it half step, so it sounds like the third fret, and then releasing it to the second fret. Okay, so this is all out of the F sharp minor pentatonic scale by the way so if you know that um, you'll have your options laid out for you and then after that um, you can use that technique that you're using in the intro um, where you have a melody note on the second string and you're bending the note uh, two frets higher but it's on the third string up to the same, up to the melody note. So it's like, okay. So you can start on with the melody note on the fifth fret. I'm only going to give you the melody note because the technique is the same. Okay. So melody note on the fifth fret, up to the fourteenth fret, down to the ninth fret, fourteenth fret. So once you release that note on the 3rd string 16th fret, you're going to play the 14th fret. And then you have that half step bend again. So 16, bend it a half step, release it. And then you got this blues lick. So that's a lot of bends there, so you gotta that bend, release, 14th fret, down to the fourth string, 16th fret, another pedal steel bend, third and uh, second string. Once you release the third string, you got bend release. 14th fret, then the 16th fret, and then play the second string. So it's like. The outro is simple, we just have a chorus and then you do the intro to the end. So that's it. Hey, talk to me at the information listed below. I'm Alex Bourne, hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.